Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I want to share with you two spring phone case ideas. So for both of them, I'm going to be using these kinds of uh, clear phone cases. Now this isn't as clear anymore as it used to be. This is just my go-to when I'm covering the whole thing with paint. You don't have to use a clear one. I'm going to be using a brush, a place to mix this two, my white acrylic paint and my Chill by Marta Stewart. Mix those two. I'm just going to be covering my phone case, giving this two coats or maybe even three until the whole thing is opaque enough. And I'm going to let it dry like this. I'm going to be taking this dotting tool that is a big one. You can use the back of a brush as well. And I'm going to be using this with yellow acrylic paint. Paint a bunch of like mini dots all over the place. Those dots are gonna be like the shakes. Go for as many as you want. Then I'm going to be using my orange and my black acrylic paint and my dotting tool. I do have the DIY for this one. I use it all the time, it's pretty handy. For the picks, I'm going to be using my orange one big like stripe all across the dot. And then a small one on the bottom in there cleaning the dotting tool in between and then two black dots for the eyes i'm going to be using my wet acrylic paint in this case i'm going to be using the back of this brush as a dotting tool and i'm just going to add as many dots as i think this needs i'm going to be applying some gloss the one that i'm using is by sculpey and i'm going to be using the same brush that i used at the beginning of this and yeah this is it for this phone case now let's move on to the next i'm going to be using this clear phone case this is how the other one was at the beginning i've never painted over this one this is why this one is so clear i'm going to be using an acetate sheet but i'm just going to be putting my phone case upside down on top of my sheet i'm just going to trace the shape of it with my pencil and i'm just going to cut it I'm working over the clear sheet on top of my phone case because I want to know where I'm going to place everything. But if you feel insecure about working over your phone, feel free to work over a piece of paper. Just remember the whole time I'm working over the clear like sheet that I just cut it. I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing as far as the sheets go. If you make any mistake though, don't panic. As soon as you make the mistake, you just grab a damp Q-tip and just remove the paint with it. I'm going to be using the same chill that I worked with before. I'm using some white, purple, and pink, and some yellow as well. And I'm just going to be making this look more springy by adding some white to them. And these are going to be like the Easter eggs. So to make the, like the egg shape, I'm not going to be adding dots, but I'm going to be adding like this shape, like going up and down, switching in between colors and just making this fun. And then to decorate them, I'm going to be using again my dyeing tool. I tell you guys, it's pretty handy this one. And yeah, I'm just going to be adding a bunch of like uh, mini dots. I tried to make six eggs, but the size is pretty tiny. So hopefully this looks like decorated Easter eggs. But yeah, just decorate them as you uh, normally would an Easter egg. For the pics of this ones though, I'm just going to be making the orange a bit lighter because I think it looks better with the uh, lighter colors that I have going on here. And I'm just going to be pretty much doing the same thing. But yeah guys, these are the two ideas that I want to share with you. One is a bit more contrasting and the other one is a bit sweeter, I think. But I really like them both. Hopefully you do too. So if you like this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more phone cases coming up and share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye and happy spring.